Hello, my name is Diana Castro and you're watching Leaders with a Mission and today I have someone amazing that I need you to meet. Her name is Aileen Castellanos and let me tell you a little bit about her. Aileen Castellano is a transition coach, ascension mentor, inspirational speaker and writer with over 17 years of experience as a marriage and family therapist. She is a creator of Sacred Surrender Method, which is a process of emotional alignment that helps create harmony between the thoughts and emotions to successfully apply the law of attraction. Eileen's vast knowledge of psychotherapy, regression therapy, meditation, and emotional energy healing techniques sets her apart in her coaching field. She is the author of two soon-to-be-released books, It's Absolutely All About You and Sacred Surrender. She's an empowering force for women that are looking to claim their power and inner strength. And with you, Eileen Castellanos. Thank you, Eileen, for being here. Hi, Diana. Thank you so much for having me today. So I wanted to ask you, because you mentioned that you are Ascension Mentor, and what is that about? An Ascension Mentor, essentially what I do is I help people ascend their energy vibration. Because typically when we have days where we feel that we have low energy or we're not feeling so good about ourselves, what happens is that our energy is low. And since everything is energy, then imagine vibration is a very important piece of that. So the vibration being high means that you can be elevated to feel better, to experience life with better results and feel a lot more successful in everything that you do. That's beautiful. And you're also a transitions coach. What does that mean? Yes. In transitions, we're always in transition. There's always something that we're changing. We're either going through a new relationship or we have, we're having children for the very first time or our children are going away to college or we're getting into a new career path, a new work. And so all of those transitions, many times we go into them with a lot of fear of the uncertainty, the, un the fear of the unknown. And so my work is to help you and everybody out there who's in a transition to do it successfully. And again, feeling good about themselves in a high vibration, feeling, feeling like they can do it and that they can have experiences of success while in their journey. Beautiful. I remember the first time when we met, we met through like a networking group and then we ended up working together, creating uh, your surrender method videos. That was so much fun. Um, I want you to tell me a little bit about surrender method because I feel that you bring up and front center how women sometimes sabotage themselves and really do not service. We, we kind of like, instead of going forward, we allowed our fears mm -hmm. to take power over us. Um, can you share me share with me a little bit about that? Of course. A sacred surrender is just that. When we're talking about the word sacred, it's about us. It's about our soul. It's about our heart. It's what we deeply need in order to feel good about ourselves. Many times we're so entrapped in everything that life has thrown at us, and especially us, because typically women are very hard on themselves. So instead of allowing us to do it that way, the sacred surrender allows us to actually have the experience by letting go of the things that don't serve us and the things that are getting in our way which many times is just us and really allowing ourselves to go through the path in our journey with feeling good about ourselves and and appreciating ourselves and filling ourselves in our heart with gratitude so that our experiences are full of love and light and peace and joy because when we're doing great Deanna everyone around us is doing amazing beautiful I know that we were having a conversation and you come from being a psychologist a psychotherapist and we were having that conversation, I know I said, that is so amazing that you upgraded to like a coach. And a lot of people would think, how is that an upgrade? And we actually were able to talk about that. Tell me, how does it feel like an upgrade when you were not a psychologist, but a coach? Um, and why, is it, why was it important for you to do that upgrade? I love the fact that I was seeing clients for so many years as a psychotherapist, but you can only see so many people in a week, right? So my, my busy practice of 40, 50 clients a week was just not enough anymore. It came to a point that I wanted to serve so many more people. And so what I did with that is I converted my practice into coaching. 
And as a coach, I can get people in groups and I can see people and do speaking events and I can have a room full of hundreds and thousands of people that are still getting the message of feeling empowered, feeling that they're in the ascension, that they're ready to do their sacred surrender. So I've been able to take all of my messages from all this work from so many years and really start putting it out to the masses and helping so many more people than I used to before. And that's, and that's one of the things that I love. With that, you're actually leading because a lot of people are afraid because they have a title that people will be perceiving it as if they were not successful. And it's completely the opposite in my eyes. You're able to serve at a higher level. So with that, let me ask, actually ask you, what is your personal definition of leadership? I feel that a leader is somebody who is confident and, and knows who they are and they're authentic in, in who they are and how they present themselves. But most importantly, a leader is somebody that sees greatness in other people and allows other people to serve at their maximum capacity. So leadership comes from teaching, from guiding, from coaching, and really from empowering people around you to be the best that they can be. Beautiful. That is so wonderful. Um, I wanted to ask you, as an entrepreneur and a woman in business, mm -hmm. what has been something that you find that has been really hard or like a challenge that has actually propelled you to push yourself harder? Well, the biggest challenge was that I was going through my own transitions. So imagine, I'm a life transitions coach, so I'm helping clients with their transitions at the same time that I was coming out of a relationship of many years. I was in the process of a divorce. I was upgrading my practice from psychotherapy to coaching. And with all that going on, I was writing books, um, getting my speaking um, engagements scheduled and, and confirmed and doing all of that. So all those transitions for me were so empowering because it made me stay determined that I was going to be successful because I teach from my own examples. I think that that's something amazing because it allows you to have a place of empathy. It allows you to understand what somebody else is going through. And that's what makes a real good coach. So can you tell us what programs or what books inspire you to become a better leader? Well, there's a lot of mentors. I have a lot of mentors, a lot of people in the self-development space, but Wayne Dyer's book, 10 Secrets for Inner Peace and Success, was amazing. That book, there's two secrets in particular that I live my life by. One, which is number one, is be open to everything and attach to nothing. And the second one wow. is don't die with your music still inside. So those were two very impactful secrets that Wayne Dyer wrote. Imagine Wayne Dyer, he so, was so successful in his time. And it inspired me to be just that, to be open to everything that life has to, has to offer and not to be attached to anything. Because a lot of times, Diana, when we get stuck and we get in our ways because we're attached, we're attached to the, we want our goals to be a certain way or we're attached to what the results are supposed to be in the outcomes. So really just living a life that is free of all these attachments has been life changing for me. And to live my life knowing that I've got so much to offer and that I'm not going to die with the music still inside. Oh, that's beautiful. Has been life changing and magical, not only in my experience, but in being able to see that in others as well. I love everything you just said. Thank you. Not to die without the, uh, the music and you actually mm -hmm. playing. Mm -hmm. It's... A lot of people live in fear, a lot of people um, are afraid of not knowing what's coming up that, and we were talking about this a little, a little back ago when, when we were in the makeup room, we are like, I really hate when people are leading by fear because they feel trapped. It's a place where you don't show up in your 100, it's not showing up energy rich. You actually kind of like, you're always kind of like contrived. You're never showing up in your fullest. So. I love the transition of that saying, don't, don't die without la letting your music uh, play. So thank you so much for sharing that. And I wanted to ask you, how do you want to be remembered? What kind of impact do you want to live in the world? Well, again, I don't want to be attached to the outcome, but one of the things that I am working very diligently on is to get my message out into the world. And that I'm doing through my books, I'm doing through my YouTube channel, I'm doing through podcasts, interviewing light workers that are also expanding the message of their work into the world. So I know that I will leave a legacy for my children. And just by changing people and helping them become the best and the greatest version of themselves, 
that's a legacy and that's that's life changing. That's that's what I want to be remembered by. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. So if you felt inspired by Eileen Castellanos, I'm going to invite you to visit her. Eileen, can you share with us where can we find you? Yes. My website is under EileenC.com and my YouTube channel is under Eileen Castellano and Facebook and all social media is also under Eileen Castellano. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. And for those of you who would like to make a bigger impact in the world, I invite you to visit us at 4productions.com, where if you subscribe, you will be able to receive a weekly update on how to use video to magnify your voice and make a bigger impact in the world. Till next time.